Hey, what is up guys? Welcome to the video. So I wanted to give you guys a life update, let you know how things are going and actually I've got some good news. So yesterday I got my response for my second attempt at getting an exemption to leave Australia. Uh, if you don't already know, at the moment Australian citizens can't leave the country without special permission from the government and it was accepted. So I will be able to leave uh, up until late August. And another piece of good news is I've also booked a ticket. So my ticket flies to the US, I think it's June 16th, and it lands in Chicago. So the plan is that I'll meet Taylor. She'll be about a month into her holidays. We'll meet there and we'll go tour some of the Northwest, uh, just the two of us and you guys. So that's gonna be really sick. It's going to be great to get back to van life. Great to get back to Taylor as well. Now, there is one more hurdle and I can travel to the US on a three month visa waiver. Uh, it's a visa waiver program, but I wanna be able to stay for at least six months. And that means getting a B2 visa. Now, before all this COVID mess happened, I was actually going for an appointment and the embassies got closed literally the day before my appointment. So, you know, if it was a week later, I would have already had the B2 visa. Now, they've reopened a few months ago, I think, and I've rebooked my appointment and my appointment's coming up. I think it's the, it's around the 16th of May, actually. Uh, 20th, I think, 20th of May. And as long as that goes well, and I actually receive the visa in time, yeah, it'll be the 20th of June, we'll be heading back to the US, so that's great. It could take longer to get the visa, and one of the good things about Qatar, the airline, is that until the 31st of December, their flights are completely refundable and exchangeable. So if things don't work out with the visa in time, you know, if it's not processed within about four to five weeks, I'll change the flight. So it remains to be seen, but I'm hoping it's all gonna work out well. Uh, as you guys already know, our long-term plan is for Taylor to move over here to Australia. I'm just gonna switch hands on the GoPro here. And then we'll buy a van here. But until she's finished her studies, we're gonna keep uh, living over in the US. And I'm just staying at my mum's place right now, doing a little bit of work in town here. And yeah, I'm gonna earn a little bit more money so I can afford uh, well, actually, one thing I need to buy is a new GoPro. The one I'm using now is not actually mine. Um, on the last day of my bike tour, which I'll tell you about in a minute, it got wet and it broke. So yeah, I need to buy a new GoPro. So yeah, that was on the Mundabidi, which the videos are gonna start coming up soon. I did the Mundabidi straight out of hotel quarantine, pretty much a week after hotel quarantine. I was straight out on the Mundabidi. So if you guys are into bikes, if you're into touring, which I know some of you are, uh, that'll really suit you guys well, I hope. Um, I've tried to really include the audience in the videos. And there's about 16 or more of those. And when the tour is over, uh, we'll pretty much be looking at getting back to the US. We might even, might be about time to be taking a flight. So I hope you guys enjoy those. Obviously no Taylor. So for those of you that are, uh, are only here for Taylor, and I know you're out there. We uh, we will be together again, so that's that's awesome. And as far as van life is concerned, yeah, it's going to be bikes for a little while, and then we'll be back to the van bike life, uh, like we were living in the U.S. before. Van vlogs, bike vlogs, traveling around the Northeast. We want to go to, you know, like Niagara Falls, New York, Maine, things like that. Yeah, it should be pretty cool. She's got the summer holidays, so we'll be able to do whatever we want. So there's not too much else to tell you guys. Uh, Taylor says hello. She'll probably do a vlog or two as well. And yeah, she's pretty much just hating school. She's pretty stressed out with her studies at the moment. And yeah, she's just generally annoyed at society between COVID and veganism. <laughs> but she's doing pretty good. Actually, she just passed uh, an exam. She got like 94%, so yeah. Thumbs up if you, uh, you're happy she's doing well.
So yeah, and no, I hope you guys enjoyed the content. Hope you enjoyed all the stealth camping vids and my trip to Australia. And yeah, if you're into the bikes and the touring, I really hope you guys can get around the Mundabidi videos. And if not, just keep an eye on the channel. And soon, sooner rather than later, it's looking like we'll be doing more of the van vlogs. So yeah, that's a little life update. Hope you guys are all doing well. And thanks so much for supporting the channel. I don't know if you've noticed, but we're about 800 and something subs. So it's gonna be awesome when we hit a thousand. That's gonna be a cool little landmark. So yeah, all you guys that uh, you know watch our videos, yeah, thanks a lot. Share the videos around. If there's any that you particularly like, show them to your friends, because that will help a lot. And yeah, that's about it really. So yeah, just thank you guys so much. Take it easy.